You know, this isn't the very first time I have to deal with a sock puppet. I think you guys know whom I'm talking about. Mr. Rebzion, the, the false Christian, the headmaster behind the evils of the Super Debate Station, the dick sucker to the amazing atheist who inspired many hateful atheists around YouTube to attack Christians, and of course, allied himself with the African fool who goes off on his lone hunt on strangling innocent Christian YouTubers to death. <coughs> Now I'm dealing with Ed the Sock. Okay, let's get it over with. Guys, it's time we had a man-to-man -man talk about feminism. Right here, motherfucker. Tell me. What's the fucking problem? A lot of things, actually. I have tons of issues with feminism. I've criticized feminism so many times I lost count. In the simplest of terms, feminism is about creating an equal playing field. Yeah, right. Um, feminism in its simplest form is about equality. But you and I both know it's not just a simple belief in equality. Okay, if it was just a simple belief in equality, then we both know there wouldn't be a real issue with that. And yet, people have issues with feminism. Do you wonder why, Ed? Because it's full of hypocritical shit. It's not just a simple belief in equality. When you start to take into account that these feminists talk about, you know, privilege and the patriarchy and etc. Not female superiority or female advantages or female domination. Though some of you pay big bucks for that. Correct you. Most feminists would pay big bucks for that. So why do so many of you lose your shit when the words feminist or feminism are brought up? Bring me some reapers. Come on guys, you know what I mean. Hearing the word feminist in mixed company is like more than just a turd in a punch bowl. It's like someone actually squatting over the punch bowl and dropping one in. Oh jeez, I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't have our lives being controlled by some goddamn feminist who tell us that, you know, we live a life as filled with fucking privilege and shit, dude. But I am not a sock puppet. Oh. Whoops. Guys, we've all been there. A woman identifies as a feminist in conversation and immediately the alarm bells go off. So many questions. What type of feminist is she? Confident, reasonable, third-wave feminist? Or a strident, Harry Pitts man-hater? I've never met a feminist in person, at least one that proclaims to be one. Although, I'm not sure if that's a good or bad... It's like Schrodinger's cat! Until you know for sure, that woman is both a reasonable feminist and a lunatic! Every, almost every feminist out there believes in the exact same argument there is. You know, that's been repeated by multiple feminists, including Lacey Green. And I bet you that these feminists will lose their fucking mind when they get criticized. I mean, if they lose their shit when being criticized on the internet, imagine being criticized in person. So, it's a safe bet that 9 out of 10... 9 out of 10 feminists are completely fucking insane. And you don't really want to find out which one, because you may find yourself on the event horizon of a black hole, conversational quicksand, where the more you try to get out of it, the more it sucks you in. It's kind of easy to get out of a conversation from a feminist. All you gotta do is say something triggering. I disagree with your opinion. The wage gap is nothing more than a myth. Add in more confusion when it's a guy saying he's a feminist. Again, questions. Which type of male feminist is he? The kind of male feminist who's just hoping to get laid, or the activist kind who hates his own penis? Most of the time, it's pretty much both. So with that kind of minefield to navigate, it's understandable why hearing the word feminist puts even the average guy who's supportive of feminism into an internal panic. <laughs> What is not understandable to me are the messages and tweets I get from guys who believe that feminism is some diabolical plot by women to reduce men to vassals groveling at their feet with no safe word. 
Dudes, what's wrong with you? Do you really blame them for saying that? Because, you know, feminists have made anti-male quotes before. First of all, the idea that a huge number of women are working together seamlessly, cooperating on a complex plan, denies the reality of the world, where women are far more critical of other women than men are, and where one of the big obstacles for women advancing in the workplace is other women. <laughs> But clearly to some of you idiots, civil society in the working world is an inviolable manland, an ecosystem designed for men where women are an invasive species. That is completely batshit insane for you to say. Like, those guys who claim that feminism is, you know, these feminists are working together to get rid of men, that is less batshit insane that what you just said. <sighs> Not living in a world where, you know, being a man is the ultimate good and being a woman is the ultimate evil. You know, <clears throat> you know, this isn't, you know, this hyper man's world that we're living in, you know. Women can get jobs. Women can, you know, do whatever. <laughs> Women are welcome anywhere. But, you know, according to you, we live in a man's world. And I get it. The world was penisopolis for generations. That doesn't mean it was reflective of the natural order of things. If women weren't suited to or capable of working, we wouldn't have had to work so hard to keep them out. Why do I feel like you're going to end up contradicting yourself anyway, then? As a result, we have an unbalanced situation in the working world, where women are still being paid less than men for doing the exact same work with the exact same experience. Bullshit! You really need to watch Saga of the Cod's video. I'll just leave a link in the description, you know? I'm too lazy to refute something that's been already refuted multiple fucking times. You know, a lot of anti-feminists like to scream about meritocracy. Equal pay for equal work. How is that not a basic element of meritocracy? How can anti-fems be all about meritocracy, but deny that a pay gap is a problem? Denying that a wage gap is a problem? They're denying that the wage gap even exists! Huh? Answer? By denying there's a pay gap at all, and claiming it's a false stat cooked up by women to take men's jobs. The most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. I have never heard anyone say that. Ever! Maybe a few, you know, um... I don't know, conspiracists might say that, but for the most of for most of us, we've already refuted the fucking wage gap. It's already been debunked, dude. And you're just repeating the exact same arguments of every goddamn fucking feminist. It's very Trumpian. I don't like it, so it doesn't exist and is an attack against me. Honestly, painting the feminist movement as women trying to take men's jobs? Here's the thing, guys. Women aren't taking your jobs. They weren't your jobs to begin with. Oh, it's funny because these feminists complain about the lack of diversity in certain fields like computer, uh, computer programming, firemen, policemen, just to name a few. But these feminists completely stay silent when it comes to certain jobs like mining and garbage men. Now, I wonder why. It's almost as if these feminists only care about equality when it benefits them. Hmm. They're just jobs open to all qualified applicants. And if some employers lean toward hiring a qualified woman over a qualified man because she is a woman, so? It didn't bother you when it was the other way around. Two things. One, we do not live in an era where if you have a penis, you get a job. Trust me, I, you know, did a lot of looking around just to get a single fucking job. It wasn't fucking easy. And two, what you're basically admitting is that if a company wants to hire women just for the sake of hiring women, what you're saying is that we should just fuck skills and just hire women. Because... You know, 
equality. You become champions of meritocracy only after you lost your unfair advantage. That isn't a cause, it's whining. <laughs> Take it from a phallic symbol. Real men embrace competition, not try to tilt the playing field. This is just a bunch of straw man fallacies, isn't it? Except maybe Tom Brady. And you know something else? The experience of being a woman is different from being a man. Sometimes specifically hiring a woman benefits the workplace with a fresh set of eyes. And here you go, valuing gender over, you know, qualifications. I think by this point, the really rabid women haters can no longer hear me over the sound of blood rushing through their veins and the noisy clatter of their furious typing of outraged comments. But this is still a message to those anti-feminists. It's funny because anti-feminists are constantly angry. Oh, 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 we did not easily hear. This notion that women want unfair advantages because they're asking men to stop having an unfair advantage? Stupid! Stupid! Damn, there's a lot more to this topic, but as a wise friend of mine once said, the mind can absorb what deceit can endure. Everything you pretty much said is all just fucking misinformation. All fucking lies. All you did was pretty much straw man the living shit out of us. I'll do another video soon about the fear of feminism actually inspired by scary feminists. I think I'll call them feminuts. I don't know. We'll see. And to those spineless, stained t-shirt wearing, basement dwelling, perpetual virgin keyboard warriors who identify as men's rights activists who will watch this video and call me a cuck, fuck you! You got your ass handed to you by Dr. Renna McCann. Do socks have asses? You know, do, do sock puppets have axes? I don't know. Till then, I am the Atheist Gamer and keep gaming on!